And I'm back to square one. Always tackle a problem head on. Of course. There's no running away from it. Looking up everyone's lives. That's a real talent. When my father lost his legs, nobody knew the mine wasn't following regulations. We were the only one who started asking questions. You know who Nick was? Mr. Perfect? Give me a break. You have no idea. No one in this town does. I don't need that right now. Just give me a break. I give up. They both deserve to be happy. Is that? Your mother told me what happened. I know she's always pushing you to make friends. Yeah. Well, she's just afraid you'll end up alone. She doesn't want you to be unhappy. Is she happy? Not always. But I'm not always happy either. Being happy isn't everything. I'd say it's more important to find out who you want to be than to be happy. Here, I brought you something. It's so clear. I can see it all at once. That's what gives it strength. It has nothing to hide. It can see itself for what it really is. And that lets it see everything. It's not a flaw. It's a gift. Like a, a superpower, you know? When the world is a storm, you stand calm at the center. Now, 
I need to have a real talk with myself. Where are you? You and me, Sam, we can do this. What? Which one are you? Sam, where are you? Sam! Follow me! Put that away. Come on. I don't want a ring. I don't need a ring. Sam, put that away. Come on. Sam, put that away. Come on. I don't want a ring. I don't... Haha, <laughs> you fell for it. I got that out of a toy machine in front of the pharmacy. Oh, Sam. Leave me, Lee. I don't have a lot of friends. Nope. Apologize. She's a kid, Sam. She wouldn't get it. Just say you're really sorry. Promise her that you'll be back. She'll like that. Explain yourself to her. Or try to. As best you can. She deserves that. It's not you, Bug. It's this town. It's Anna. It hurts and I can't stay. None of that is my fault! I know, but I still have to go. It's not fair. I understand, but it's not fair. I guess you finally win for once.
listen to her. Sometimes there's not a right thing to say. Tell her you want this. Be forward. She'll reconsider. If you don't, it's over. Quick, toss the ring. Make a joke. If you don't manage to save face, it's over. Listen to her. Sometimes there's not a right thing to say. I thought that's what we were supposed to do. I'm sorry, I just, I just wanted to fix things. Sam, did you really think doing something neither of us wanted would fix anything? just like that. Not even an explanation. He cares. Tell him how much you hurt. Tell him the reasons. Give him a few and he'll be fine. You're leaving town just like that. Not even an explanation for an old friend. Apologize. He wants to know it's not his fault. Maybe tell him you'll call. He cares. Tell him how much you hurt. Everyone in town hates me. I think Anna hates me. I... I think I hate me. I have to get away from this place or I'm gonna die here. Inside at least. I get it. Just know I've always got your back. No matter where you go. I know the real you is here. The rest are just illusions. I have to focus. There's only one of you. I can't just choose them all. Think. Focus. They just want to put useless labels on it. There's only one of you. I can't. There's only one of you. I can't. There's only one of you. There's only one of you. There's only one of you. I can't just choose them all. There's only one of you. I can't just. There's only one of you. I can't just choose them all. Think. Focus. There's only one of you. I can't just choose them all. Think. Focus. Talks to himself more than he talks to other people. 
We should consider what the one teacher mentioned. He doesn't need remedial classes. They just want to put useless labels on him. They're not remedial. They're programs meant to help him with his social skills. It could be good for him. My son is not going to be in some dunce class. You were there when no one else was. And you've been there every step I've taken since. I'm ready. Hey. 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 It's been a long road. I think it was always coming here. You know? You got real closure with Anna, even if Joan thinks we're a prick. Now that, that's on me. I just do not get that girl. Why does it have to be so complicated out there? I'd say we've had a good thing going. It was tough, but you made compromises. You adapted to other people. Wasn't it nice to feel accepted? We've had our moments, but they never felt authentic. I understand why you'd feel that way. The two halves of your world, they just don't mix. There's Sam, the well-adjusted human. And there's Sam, the depressed, truth-obsessed misanthrope, who doesn't realize objective reality is a subjective myth. I'll tell you what the truth is. To be happy, sometimes you need to focus on people and not things. You make it sound so easy. I'm not sure I'm ready to let it go. It'll take a lot of work, but we can get you there. No one can enjoy life when they've got the weight of the world on their shoulders. What about the world? Everything has a price. Look, You've been helping me for a long time. Even today, without you, I would still be lost in my own head, in my own panic. Well, technically, that's kind of the case right now. Still, I'll take the compliment. But we both know I can't be split in two directions. I have to pick a track. Go along with me. 
Be a part of society. Be happy. Let things go. Accept the expectations of others. Stop pretending you're someone else. Or keep looking for a truth that may not exist and leave everyone else behind. But seeing the world for what it is, being able to make a difference, no matter the consequences. It's time. Two roads, and you can only take one. I sacrificed so much effort just to make myself miserable. I've had enough. You just have to care more about the people around you and less about everything else. I know. I'm ready. It's not gonna be easy, but you and I, we're gonna get there, together. Anna probably went off after what Dickie left up here. You can't let her be out there alone. I know, but it needed to be taken care of. I concur. Hurry, Sam. No cell reception. If anything happens, we're on our own. Declan could be here already. I should be careful. Syringes, bottles. Basswood has been having a tough few years. out of your days long enough to join me. I was worried about you. I know. I had a bit of a panic attack. I'm really sorry I put us in danger. That's over now. I'm in the here and now, 100%. All right. Glad to have you. So I guess this could be all of this madness coming to a close, right? Hopefully in the good way. Maybe we can bring Nick and Dennis some justice. I'm ready to see it end. It's probably time we find those files. Any luck yet? I can't find them anywhere.
Did Dickie say where the dead drop was? He didn't. We'll have to keep looking for it. Did you already go through that side? I've been looking everywhere. So far, all I've found is a lot of gum under tables. Declan could be here any minute. Let's hurry it up. <sighs> the dead drop doesn't seem to be here. Too exposed. This would be the classic choice, but no. Nothing. A precarious path out into the dark. Not a bad metaphor for my life right now. Nowhere to hide a USB stick here. Rotten food. Probably too gross even for someone like Dickie. Anna's got that area covered. I should look elsewhere. I don't see it. Burying it would be a lot of work for Dickie. Anna's already searched over there. Dickie's stash must be somewhere else. It's good to finally have some perspective. My past made me who I am today. It's pretty cliche, but still, a hard learned lesson. precarious path out into the dark. Not a bad metaphor for my life right now. Found it. You did? Let me see. With this, we'll be able to put Declan behind bars and clear your name. Come on. Hold it there, boss. Whoa. Declan. Now, you two just relax. We're here for the same reason. Now, all you have to do is give me what you found in that there lockbox. You... How could you look everyone in the eye and lie to them? You went to his wake? You drank with his friends? Who's harder than you think? Tell me what happened with Nick. Why did you kill him? Same thing that happened to you. He saw an opening and jumped in it. 
He started asking questions, never actually thought he'd find answers. But he did. And then he kept playing with fire, so he got burned. So that's it. You killed him because he did his job. Don't start thinking I enjoyed doing it. It just had to be done. It was just the same as with that drunk fool, Dennis. All I wanted was to see how much he knew and get him to keep his mouth shut. Turns out he knew more than he should have. It doesn't have to end the same way this time. There's always another option. Almost sounds like you wising up some, Higgs. Doesn't look like you're willing to take the same fall from two years ago. Fuck that common good shit, right? You were one of Basswood's best. People counted on you. Don't even try to give me that. I've given enough to those two-faced hypocrites. Everybody's happy to shake my hand and say how grateful they are. But as soon as you turn around, they'll stab you in the back. Eventually, I realize that's how people are. The only thing left is to adapt. Help keep a lid on things. And if someone's got a profit, might as well be me. Nick and Dennis, that part wasn't supposed to happen. But here we are. And I'm done leaving behind loose ends. Anna's gonna try something. Declan. Think about what you're doing. Is this what you want? You killed Nick. You killed Dennis. You're running the drug ring in Basswood. If only you could have left it at that. But you had to poke around again. Now I have two witnesses to deal with, thanks to you. This is bad. Be careful. Every word will count from now on. You have to lower his guard long enough for you and Anna to gain the upper hand. It's gonna be hard, but remember, I'm with you. Every word of the way. Tell me exactly why I shouldn't kill both of you right here. Keep your cool. He's not gonna shoot if he thinks he has better options. Otherwise, he already would have. Killing us is not in your best interest, Declan. The more bodies you leave behind, the harder it'll be to hide them. It's a good point. But at least bodies don't talk. Look, I don't want to do this. But I promise. It ain't personal. Don't delude yourself. Nothing is more personal than this. And you won't do it. What makes you think that? Seen into my soul? Three people gunned down the same day is bound to attract attention. You're a cop, Declan. You know the next strangers in town will be the feds. I could make you disappear. Ditch your corpses somewhere. No one would know. Come on, Declan. We talked to people. Followed leads. And if we just go missing, Walter, Bess, people who know us will ask questions. You seem to think you can just walk away. Go ahead. Tell me how that happens. For all his bad boy act, it's clear he wants insurances. To know he's safe. Deep down, he thinks everyone is as crooked as he is. Buy us then. Your drug money for our silence. Samuel Higgs. Ask him for a bribe. That's very interesting. It's an insurance policy. If we participate, we become criminals as well. We won't be able to turn on you without ruining our own reputations. Why should I trust you? You're you. You care about stories, not people. You published that article and sank the whole town, leaving saps like me to clean it up. If I let you go, who's to say it won't be the same thing all over again? You know, as a criminal and as a cop, he's probably seen lots of desperate people doing desperate things. Stay calm. 
appear confident. You staring down the barrel of his gun is already having an effect on him. I put my own interests first. And it's in my best interest to not be shot. I could turn on you, risk my life and the lives of everybody I love. Or I could go home and forget about what I know. Forget all about Basswood. Honestly, I could really use a reason to forget about this place for good. You've become a wise man, Sam. I must say, Higgs, you might have found yourself a way out of this. Now, how about you just hand over the evidence, Anna? Nice and easy. It all comes down to this, Sam. Anna's about to jump him. Keep his attention on you. It's better for everyone this way. You win, Declan. Good call. I expect you two to keep your end of the bargain. You asshole! Exactly what I had in mind. Hello? A woman has been shot. I need an ambulance. Just hurry! Okay, good. Stay with me. You have to stay with me. I'm fine. Don't worry. Anna, I'm... Anna, please. Carrie James at 104.3 WVCK, the Basswood Sound. You heard the news today? The local cop who died in that fatal shooting last week is apparently the head of a small opioid ring right here in Basswood. Crazy. It's believed he used his position to bring in drugs from all over the county and that he murdered two people in an attempted cover-up. Good news, however. The journalist who was wounded while confronting the rogue cop was released from the hospital today. Oh, Sam. Nice to see you up and about. Him again? He really wants to be a part of this community, doesn't he? Wait, scratch that. He really wants to look like he's part of this community. I can't say it's been the best week of my life. Maybe one of the worst, actually. I can't even imagine. You and Anna endured what no one should ever endure. Which is why I felt it was my duty to come wish her my best. Lots of well-wishers. Kathy, Walter, Bess. Makes me feel a touch like a ghoul. Well, sometimes it's what it takes to be part of the community. I know how it feels to be outside looking in. Very astute. Putting down roots is a rather active process. Us outsiders have to stick together. Can't let the insiders know how much they scare us. No, we cannot. I feel so selfish keeping you away from everyone. I'm sure Anna is waiting for you. You have a good day. N no. You have a good life, young man. I'll try. Looks like I'm not the only one who's come to visit Anna. I'm so glad she's finally out of the hospital. <laughs> 